Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Eleanor Toplinski. I'm a board certified medical oncologist and September is Gynecologic Cancer Awareness Month. I have been sharing a little bit about ovarian cancer and I want to talk about uterine cancer as well. Uterine cancer is the fourth most common cancer among women in the United States and it is the most common gynecologic cancer accounting for more than 65,000 cases per year. So let's start by talking about signs and symptoms. The most common symptom of uterine cancer is abnormal vaginal bleeding after menopause. I will tell you that if you are postmenopausal and you're experiencing any bleeding, it does not mean that it is uterine cancer, but it does warrant a call to your doctor and an evaluation because there are other things that do cause bleeding after menopause, especially if you have a lot of vaginal dryness, but bleeding is a symptom that we definitely do not want to ignore. Now, if you're premenopausal, you may have kind of heavy bleeding, um, abnormal cycles, breakthrough bleeding. So those are all kind of any changes in your cycle if you're premenopausal. Also something that you want to discuss with your doctor. And again, if you're kind of starting to go through menopause, you may have all of those symptoms. You may be on certain medications that cause changes in your cycle, but anything out of the ordinary and the norm for you, we always recommend evaluation. Other symptoms that people may experience may include an abnormal discharge, an abnormal pap smear, though that is typically um, screening for cervical cancer, but sometimes you can get an abnormal result um, in uterine cancer. Um, you may get pain in the pelvic area. Sometimes people develop um, kind of changes in their bowel habits, constipation, they may get upper pelvic pain or bloating. And again, that depends on kind of at which stage the uterine cancer is being diagnosed at. But and, and I've been talking about this with ovarian cancer as well. If you have any change in GI or gynecologic symptoms, it really does warrant an evaluation, a call to your doctor and, and getting it worked up. Those symptoms do not mean that it is automatically cancer, but any changes in anything that's out of the ordinary, we do recommend a workup. I'd love to know what questions you have about uterine cancer or gynecologic cancer in general. Leave them in the comments below.